Friday night, everybody come to get lit. Red cups, what you sit? My man, roll he put his zip. I'm in the sky, I'm like, you say whatever you wanna get. Nothing but them good vibes when we come through, it's a fun event. All the ladies call your girls, all my niggas call your guys. Fall in line, they ain't got no plans, you can tell them to slide. I'm feast the beast, they told you otherwise, them suckers lie. Can't nobody do it, light me up, season like checker fries. What's the vibe? You know what it is when we come inside. This weather feeling good, looking nice like the summertime. This get together, we call it the party of the year. You end up missing this, you gon' be sorry you ain't here. Light skin, long hair, better than Cardi from the red. You got me some good game, yeah, I talk it up in here. This the one they say they like it, play it back, it got a mic, but I'm excited, never tired. Just keep it going with fire. I'm privileged. Yo, what's up? We back with another one. Unprivileged drinkers, taste testers for the hood. Yes, sir, yes, sir. The gang is here, we're back. We just coming off of a good ass weekend, man. You know what I'm saying? We ready to have a little bit of fucking fun. Oh, I told you we were starting. I said, well, see, it's what happens when you don't listen. You know what I mean? Because I definitely said we was ready. But fuck all that. He's high. I mean, that, that he is on delay. He probably heard it just now. He probably heard it just now. Yeah. It's all good, though. No, I'm not. It's all good. But at the end of the day, like I said, we back for another one, man. We ready to have a little bit of fun, talk our shit, drink as usual. Yes. Recap what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Because um, it's been it's been a good couple of weeks for, for all of us, I, I feel like. You know what I mean? You, whether you had off. I'm still I mean, alive. Oh, that's always that. Whether you had off or, you know what I mean, you went away on vacation or got a, a vacation on the horizon. We're going to talk about all of that. But, you know, like I said, you got the gang here. It's the regular guy, Uncle Reese. I don't do much. I'm just usually behind the scenes, but I'm here uh, ready to drink with my guys. And over there to the left of me. It's the dirtiest motherfucker alive. <laughs> I'm your boy, dirty. Back with another one. It's the guy. I got to find some other shit to say because y'all say with the guys now. And it's weird hearing it three times in a row. With the guys, with the guys, with the guys. Then you got jackass over here. <laughs> but, hey, well, what's up, y'all? It's Bank, aka Cootie. Yeah, however, you want to say it, you want to mix it. Uh, and, I mean, like, there's a lot of people out here with the drinkers. Uh, yeah, yeah, talk some shit and have some fun. And, uh, over there. I don't need no formal introduction. <laughs> They know why I'm here. They know who I am. Captain Unprivileged. <laughs> well, there you got it. You know what I mean? You got the gang here. We, like I said, we're ready to have a little bit of fun. We're going to do a little bit of drinking. And as you know, before we start any episode, before we get into anything, it's shot o'clock time. We got um, something new. What is it that we're drinking? I know y'all know the uh, first call. First call. First call. And first call. It's, uh, I think the bottle's next. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, you can talk about it cause it... First call, break me Kentucky Street Bourbon Whiskey Finish and Port Wine Cash um, We were in the liquor store the other day Total Wine Total Wine, Pooty was trying to get the Basil Hayden Wine Cash But uh, one of the people that worked at the liquor store Oh, you guys should try this <laughs> Tried it, sure enough, he put that shit down And picked this up Great buy, as you can see, it's going already. And we opened it this morning, so. First call, bourbon whiskey, should definitely go try it. What's the price point? It was, I want to say it was 34 like $34, $34, $35. Off. And, you know, for, for the listeners, y'all know how much we love our basil head. But, um, the guy, he put us, on some, put us on some good stuff, so we've been drinking it. Literally just opened it today and now it's gone. And so, <laughs> let you know how much we got. Love it. Well, with uh, no further ado, it's time to take this shot. Grab them things up. And word dog hat, hat. The shot is a family. <laughs> you better know it. You know, I hate it. <laughs> but if you know, you know. Pretty good though. Yes, it is. It's I like that. Good. Does put you in the mind of basil eating. It does. Yeah, it still it still gives you that 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 reminder of basil eating. But I man, if you ain't in the mood or if you ain't got your pockets ain't looking too good, you got 
put thirty four, thirty five dollars on you. Definitely recommend first call. Faux show. Sure. Great slow sipper. Or or you can shot it. Forty dollars you buy other stuff too. Oh, Coochie. Man. Wait a minute. I know I know somebody to pay forty dollars. Okay, some. okay. I'm just being honest. All right. We all do. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I said we know somebody to pay forty dollars for sexual favors. Yeah, I still don't. I still don't know what you're talking about. Well, y'all, y'all know. Well, <laughs> there's always that. Uh, thank you for coming out. God bless and good night, sir. <laughs> ranting and shit, but um. <laughs> No, we uh, like I said, we, we want to talk about some shit. Like we've been, um, you know, this is I guess technically our second up weekend um, of the year. In essence, I think the first one was back in what was that January? Yes, wild card. Yeah, I missed that. Man, COVID. I was fucking pissed about f- it. You know, uh, I forgot all about yeah. the first up weekend. Yeah, I didn't. I sat in the house all weekend and cried. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> got, got start living life right there, daddy. <laughs> yeah, no, that was uh, that was the magical wild card weekend. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, we played some games and shit. Got to watch some football. Ah, uh, we was so how many days away we are uh, away from football now? We are. Uh, around sixty-five. Yeah, something like that. We're in the yeah. alignment numbers. Yeah. yeah. Numbers. But, uh, so, wives and family, don't look forward to seeing us at dealing with us on Sundays. <laughs> Our Sundays will be back. We can probably do one. We can probably do one. One what? Yeah. I'll, I'll be here Saturday night. Here? I'm here Friday. I'm not driving here Sunday morning. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, oh, I know Shoma. Oh. We can do it. We can do a little. We can watch football here one time. If it's okay with the household. But, you know. Man, we just, <laughs> we just busting the door. That's all we got to do, man. I don't like the way you said that. Yeah, me neither. Like when you said a lot of shit. <laughs> well. We're always welcome, remember? I mean, like I said we always. Everybody know we always here. It ain't like you can't get here. You see the car out there. We know we're there. So there's always that. But um, yeah, we want get, to get into a few things. Like I said, we want to recap what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Um, I, yeah, I, we the episode of uh, what was it? What was it? Damn, what was we drinking? Oh, red stripe. That's oh, out on YouTube. In right, right. That's out on YouTube now, so you can go watch that. Um, it was a precursor to before we went to Jamaica, myself and uh, Cap. So you can actually go tune in and check out what we feel and think about Red Stripe uh, Lager Beer. Um, it's uh, plenty of stuff on YouTube, so you can always subscribe to us on YouTube. But like, share, always share. Yeah, yeah. Definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, so you can get the notifications. Share to share to somebody that you you know haven't talked to in a while. You've been trying to get their attention again. Share it to them. Facts, facts. I mean, we need Shit all the everybody. support. But um, yeah, and I want anybody want to talk about you know what they've been doing for the last you know couple of weeks um, since we were last recording, I should say. Well, you know, I work in school, so I get their vacation. So summer vacation started a few weeks ago. It's been three lovely weeks of me not having to work seven days a week. I watch movies. I caught up on shows. <laughs> Done some extracurricular activities. Oh yeah. <laughs> a good time. You want to elaborate on what the extracurricular? <laughs> yeah, please do. I don't. Uh, you just want to leave it up to the viewers. Just know that I did them. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's all you need to know. Bro. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I mean, it's up to you. I'm not gonna tell nobody not to see it. But yeah, yeah. That's dirty. That shit is corny. Um, you know, you might like it. You, I don't know. Other people might like it. I just, I'm just saying, I, like it. I was expecting a lot more. Um, and that's it. I know my and, and my my daughter. She did go to Jamaica with those guys. My oldest daughter. She had a good time. But other than that, me and wife and we've been home. Working home. Well, she's been working home. That's it for me. So, so. And, and I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. Uh, Please. Fuck you. Uh, uh, the highlight of my past two weeks would, of course, be Jamaica. Um, Winston and Eish, they're like, you know, brother and sister to me. Uh, they celebrated their 20 year uh, vow renewal um, ceremony in Jamaica. Um, it's funny because 10 years prior to that, um, we were in Jamaica at the same exact resort, uh, the Rio, Ocho's Rio's, for their, uh, their 10 year anniversary. Um, but, uh, but I had a great time. I didn't have not one sober moment there. Um, brought my son, he had a good time. I. I, I seen him, but I didn't see him. He's 13 now, so it's like, you know, I, as soon as we got there, he got his wristband, unlimited food, uh, slushies and all that. He, he had a great time. The day they actually got married, look, they couldn't have got married on any more, any beautiful of a, any more beautiful of a day. Um, the sun was shining. It was, it was a little breezy. Um, and I was just, it was just a, a, a great, you know, vow renewal to be a part of, um, we definitely uh, turned out that resort, I would say, because I believe it was about a 150 of us that were there. Like, you know, once you leave your room, you, you wasn't able to walk through that resort without seeing somebody that you knew. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we took over the damn spirit plane as well, going and coming back from there. Uh, so it was just a great time, great people, you know, that I'm, I typically be around, you know, I ain't going to say on a daily, but a lot. Um, and, you know, it's just uh, a pleasure and a blessing to be there. Um, one night... Uh, I'm going to caution up against the, the Ray, Ray and nephew. Uh, that was the one day that actually, you know, I would say it didn't end well for me, but, like, that Ray and nephew just took me out of the drinking game all together. Like, you know, I mean, I, for a good portion of the rest of the evening after I had the Ray and nephew in the pool, I was kind of, like, just wandering off on the resort by myself. Um, uh, a particular guy wanted to challenge me and, you know, drinking Rand Nephew, but I still don't know how he felt to this day. We've been going for about two weeks, but uh, I would like to talk to him and, you know, find out how he felt after that Rand Nephew because Rand Nephew, that was the first time having but And in our opinions, um, I think I can speak for everybody and say that Rand Nephew should not be consumed as a shot by itself. It should only be, you know, putting a, a rum punch. Like, it makes, it makes a great rum punch. It should only be <laughs> so, oh, well, so you don't like the rum punch? Does me uh, whatever Ray and nephew? I mean, I like rum punch in general. So I, mean, I like rum punch in general. So if it's with Ray and nephew, it's cool. But it okay. Well, I mean, it's a little different though. I, if it came down to two, if it came down to Ray and nephew and ninety nine pickles. I'm drinking Ray and nephew. Damn. Not yeah. right, me. Give me the pickles. 99 of them. Maybe. 99 pickles, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a liquor, man. Like, what do you, like 99 pineapples. 99 Long Island. It's just the way you say things. Man. Listen, it's the way you think. No, it's. You, yeah. <laughs> but. Say it again. Did I, did I? 99 pickles. No, no, no. What would you initially say? What, I want all 99 of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Whatever. I said red. I said red nephew or ninety nine pickles. You said ninety nine pickles all day because they're sweet. It's it, it wasn't Paul's. Like this is getting bad. It 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 didn't taste. It was horrible. But Rand Nephew is by far, and I've been drinking for a very long time, is the worst tasting, the worst smelling, the most hard to consume alcohol that's out there. It's not even close. And I've had Everclear. Everclear <laughs> just burns. So, so, so Rand Nephew, mm. Rand, I mean Rand Nephew. Listen. 99 pickles ain't hard enough. Pa man, you can pause yourself on that one. <laughs> 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 I was going to try to catch it. Okay, well, you trying to catch it, huh? 
Oh, but right. uh, bring it back in. Uh, mm, what else did I do? <laughs> uh, work is work. Uh, yeah. So like I said, I had a great time in Jamaica. You know, blessed to be there. Happy to have one on that vacation. It was much needed. Needed to recharge my battery pack and uh, back in the states again. I mean, that's what's up. Um, as y'all know, I was also there. Um, well, maybe I don't know because most of the videos that are posted, I'm behind the scenes, so y'all don't be knowing if it's my hand or somebody else's hand. But I was there. Wow. As, as well, um, we did have a good time. I had my little uh, kids with me, so really mostly daddy duty. But you know, some of our village um, was able to help out. You know what I mean? Like where um, Josiah, my godson. Uh, Captain's son, he had him over in one pool. Um, my nephews, a lot, like a lot of people, helped out with my um, with Mason as far as being able to let him swim, and we can go into the adult uh, pool and kind of swim while Messiah would sleep. And then some, even when he was up, some of my nieces and, and, and family members uh, were helping out just to kind of give us a little bit of a break to have some type of fun while we was there. So that was it was a good time. Like I said, we did take over the spirit plane. It was like most of us on that flight. I know there was a couple of other people on the uh, Frontier flight. They landed probably like 10 minutes before we did or something like that. But it was weird. We was on Spirit. They was on Frontier. Um, it was right behind them. Yeah. So it was like, you know, right right at the same time we all kind of got there. I'm trying to think of anything else um, that you didn't mention. Um, I, I, I do agree with you with the, as far as the day. The day wasn't too hot when we was on the beach. Uh, for the ceremony, the ceremony went beautiful like, day to get married. It went really, really well. Um, shit at the reception, Josiah started rapping. Dude started rapping. You know, we had uh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we had a good time, man. So I, yeah. I'm thankful that I was able to be there um, and witness that because um, I was in the wedding uh, 20 years ago. So they did try to recreate that a little bit with um, who was it? Lily was a bridesmaid. Scooter, Fatima, and Fatima. And then they had the boys kind of like as the groomsmen, but it was it was it was a good job, man. Like it was litty. Yeah, yeah, it was. It, it went up, man. I was I was really uh, moved by the by the ceremony. I think it was. I think I said job before. It was Drees that was saying like I don't think nobody gonna cry. And then the music came on. And you start hearing certain things. You kind of get in the emotion and, and and start to understand the gravity of what's happened. Like this is twenty years in the making. You know what I'm saying? Like their first time getting married, it was only just do now you got kenny and ryan you know what i'm saying all these people and friends that you've amassed over these years it's, it's, it's amazing so yeah jamaica was fun we definitely had a good time there um but you know we back you know like i said it's the up crew we um this past weekend we just did some things um we we, we was drinking all night friday like literally well all night all morning we didn't go to bed so almost five wasn't allowed to go to sleep type shit. absolutely Absolutely. Man, we came here to drink. Came here to enjoy myself. To drink. Drink, but I'm not <laughs> drinking leads to enjoyment. So you saying you didn't enjoy yourself Friday going to Saturday morning? It was cool. I enjoyed myself. Right. I wanted to go sleep a lot earlier. It is what it is, champ. Well, you should. Ball. I deal with yeah, it. We still had fun. Everyone. Right. I can only imagine when he has kids, man, how early he going to go to bed. How do you only imagine when I have kids? <laughs> You go to, you're like an old man. He's the youngest out of yeah. He's the youngest out of all of us. He's an old man. It's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm not, what it is. He's concerned about you having kids because he wants to be right. goddamn. Don't wait too late, man. He wants to be goddamn. Goddamn Drake. Just don't don't wait too late, bro. <laughs> he wants to be the first person to lose. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we uh, like I said, we had fun though, man. We did karaoke. Um. We, we we played some games. It was the gibberish game. Well, I, I was just more to judge. I wasn't really fucking playing that game. I feel like, what's it called? Incoherent. Incoherent humans or some shit? Some Inco shit incoherent like, family? Incoherent humans or family? Whatever the fuck it is, I'm not a fan of it. My brain does not operate that way. I'm a sore loser. I'm too competitive to play it. I don't like it. So I was just holding the cards up. Yeah, unique is the cheat code. Yeah. Got fun. I don't know. Her brain just like reads stuff differently, so. It worked for her. And she played that game quite a few times. So now, yes. Yeah. And then, but the thing was that kind of threw it off. We started using cards that wasn't even open. She still was getting. It. Yeah. She understands she that. She understands that gibberish. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So we did that. Like I said, that was a good time, and I think we had a really fun time doing that. Um, what else? Uh, well, obviously, uh, we played the other game too. What was the name of that one? Um, three and out. Three and out. No. Three. Five seconds. 
five seconds were right. You got to oh. do that. That was fun. I think we did it where whoever had the most cards at the end, everybody else took a shot. I know me, it was a dink. Me, uh, yeah, me, Tanisha, and uh, you. Yeah, yeah, we took the shot um, for whoever the least amount of cards because you had to say the shit within like five seconds or some shit like that, and I couldn't do it. My brain, like, when I'm put on the spot, it don't work like that. So, you know, it is what it is. But like I said, we had fun. We did... Uh, um, secrets down there in um, Ocean City, Maryland uh, Yesterday I had, Go down there Had some drinks Some food um, Was out there in, in the water That they, they said Everybody was pissing in But you know They did We had fun though All right. I mean would anybody Disagree we had fun though No, no I, Listen I'm gonna be honest I took off my uh, I guess I can say this My wife beater Last night And I had It was, it was yellow stains on it Really? I ain't bullshit I ain't putting no sunscreen Or nothing I did not. I had yellow stains on, like yellow stains on my, my white beater. Did you pee in the water? Hmm. No. Huh. Maybe it was dirt pee because dirt did pee in the water. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But he did. He did. He, I think he just went closer to Shania, so he might have peed on her for sure. <laughs> I want to piss on you. <laughs> He pr- so that's the, see, there's something else. I'm privileged drinkers, what, what, baby. That we would never know about. We shouldn't. You're pissing on your uh, you, you go. If you're peeing on your female, man. You know. There you go. You take a joke and make it like I'm just saying, like, there's nothing we should know about. Well. But if that's what you so choose to do, <laughs> may all, by all means, I would suggest maybe do it in the shower. Piss on her in the shower? Because what? Because it's going to run saying, off. For anybody, or like, instead of like doing it in the bed. No, 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 never have. I'm just saying. Like, why don't you just do it in the shower? Like, at least that way you can get right to the soap and, you know. You well, like you nope, I have no desire to piss on anybody. I don't either. That's why I moved away from everybody. Yo, I did this when I was in middle school. Oh. You know the little the piss stalls where there's the drains at the floor? Huh. <laughs> I did do some playful kid shit, yo. So my man... should be weird. <laughs> so... My man, like, I mean, we had a little fight after that, but like, so, <laughs> so in the bathroom, yeah, I beat him up. <laughs> Not like that. So I, I, I took. I don't know why I did it, man. This kid doing d- dumb shit, man. This had to be fifth, sixth, seventh grade, something like that. I took and I just whizzed him real quick. And I mean, I just and <laughs> uh, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this motherfucker, but I did. I, I don't know him now. I can't. No, this is the real thing. I suspended for it. <laughs> well, we both did. Cause you whipped your dick on him. Like what? No, the fuck? I just like he he. Why you could have went to another stall, man? It's like, I, <laughs> he was mad. What? I think his nigga name was Manoa. Some sort of Manoa. I think his name was Manoa. 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 Man, man, Manoa. <laughs> I think that was the name. This is back in Fit Fitler Academics Plus days. <laughs> You always gotta say the whole fucking name, yo. Gobbly obbly boo, CG tall. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> so it was one of our like we were singing like the national anthem in another language or some shit. I just I think like a day. <laughs> That's sexual on. assault. At this he point. finished pitching. He got mad. We had words. We fought, and then Wait, think, words, I don't remember so long. Ago. I know I remember we was fighting because I pissed on him. <laughs> Yeah, so whatever. It's dumb shit. You know, I do dumb shit as a kid. You know, that was that was never a thing that I would ever want to do to somebody. Right. I mean, I, I mean R. Kelly does. Oh, oh man. Every nigga don't think the <laughs> Like I don't honestly, in the, in the act of having sex, I don't like. I wouldn't see where the enjoyment l- comes from in that. Like I like, yeah. Let me pee on you. Open your mouth, like, huh? All right. Uh, th- th- all right. So, um, all right. with that being said, it's like, no, we um, we put up uh, uh, on our Instagram page. If you're not following us on Instagram, you should. We also are newly on Threads. Check us out. We have a little fun there too. But um, yeah, we uh put up a poll. P O L L. Not P O L E. And um, <laughs> one of the polls was um, which occupation do you think does the most cheating? I, I don't, I don't know if I sent you the 
um, results, but I know who was that one. But it was um, po- firefighters, police officers was one category. The other one was pilots and flight attendants. The other was bartenders. bartenders. And there's one more that I'm missing. I think it was only four. I said four? Yeah. You said firefighters, police. Well, that was one, though. The firefighters and police one was yeah, one. They, they, one. Yeah, they categorized together. Yeah, so. Right. Oh, oh shit. I'm missing. Is it teachers? Teachers. teachers? teachers. Military. Military. Check military. Teachers was the other thing. I never put that other one up. Oh. It was military. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. But for the, uh, for the, um, the, the winner, I should say, or the one, yeah, the one who came out victorious <laughs> was the, uh, hey man, listen, I hear some shit about you, brothers. When you say victorious, you mean like yeah. they had the highest vote? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, right, all right, so. Right, I mean, it said who had the most, but, you know. So, literally, from, so the survey was done by Simon's Law Group, whoever they are. Right. Um, the most cheating occupation When I was watching uh, I watched Fox News Every morning Number one was voted Was firefighters Number two Police officers Oh they are They're not in the same category Three is bartenders Four military Five pilot Four slash flight attendants Right So they wasn't when I mean they are So yeah No, no they, they, they're they not grouped together I know but Only reason why On Instagram It doesn't allow you To have five slots So oh. that's why I put Those two together Oh well, they came in one and two, and they they, they were one and two on our yeah, our poll. They were they were the first. Well, I put them together, so like firefighters, police officers was one category. It still outpaced everybody by like thirty percent or more. I think they had like forty seven percent, and I mean, the close next closest one was bartenders. If if I'm saying no, they protect and serve. <laughs> so wow, my number one probably, I think. If I just looked at this real quick, and these are the five options, I was it would be between probably between military and pilots and flight attendants. Mm. They're always away, they're all around the world, all over different cities and states. You right. know, and they don't they don't always have their you know spouse or significant other other with them, um, not all the time. Um, so I figured they have the most opportunity. Right. Um, and shit, they made it in the top five. Military four, pilots uh, four slash flight attendants, number five. Um, yeah. Bartenders, well, well, let's speak about our poll. The fuck they did. Yeah. Well, no, that, that was, I mean, that is basically. Oh, it, it, it fell in order the same way uh, the it Simon was, Law Group it was, when they uh, surveyed it? It was, um, the first one was uh, the f- p- police officers, firefighters. That was like 47%. That had that selected. I also got some DMs where people was like saying, "Like y'all know the answer to this, but you know we can't, we can't vote <laughs> to sway it too much because it's like y'all y'all doing too much." Somebody was like, "Y'all doing too much," and then somebody also said, y'all, "Somebody we said we doing too much." <clears throat> yeah, but somebody also said we should have put scepter drivers up there because they be outside doing they do. Somebody also said we should put up uh, COs, but. Um, it did fall in line. A couple people snitching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it, like the people that was doing. There are females, but they was you know saying what they were saying. But um, we'll it, talk about that off air. Yeah, we was. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. I think bartender. Like I said, that was second. I feel like bartender would bar- be like number one though. Like that's what I when when the uh, when it was asked, I, I picked bartender. But yeah, see, like, if you do some if. Like, all right, you may have like a couple. I'm assuming, like, I don't know, but like, you in one spot. Like, you, I'm just looking at thinking about being at one bar. And if you do some, some dudes or women may become too attached to what y'all did, and they'll be there all the fucking time. And I, and I get that, but at the same time, like, if you think about like pilots and shit like that, and like stewardess and all that, like, where are they going when they get when they get off a bar? They might be the one. The bartender might be the one fucking the pilot. Oh, I'm sure. I'm quite sure of it. So I'm, 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 yeah, I would, I would, I would lean towards them. Okay. You ever see them? That makes sense. You ever though. see they luggage? Them damn flight attendants and and and, and pilots. They, they got like I wouldn't even call it a damn carry on. It's like a briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're in state to state like at least every twelve hour, four, twelve fourteen hours. Night, um, yeah. Drive. Right. Listen, I'm on here for the night. Pound town. Yeah. Escot Babylon or whatever they call that shit. Oh my God! Yeah, one of them call rat. girl sites. Yeah, chill. <laughs> I'm just saying, like one of uh, the Disney sites. of pussy. 
you. Come get yours. Uh, you know, an escort site. But no, nah, I um, it, it was interesting to see and to get like I like doing these because the feedback is always interesting because sometimes you get people that will add a little bit more context as to why they say this and that. But um, what about it, the one it, where they didn't really respond? The only was one that, that was that one, one. Only one that they didn't get picked like that was in the military. I think for that particular one. No, no, I'm talking about the the poll pause before before that that we did, and nobody really wanted to talk about it. I don't remember. I know what you're talking about. I don't remember oh. what it was though. It was, it was, but I don't remember what it was. But we had one before that where it was like geared towards women, and they didn't respond initially. Right. I'm not going to tell on you, and then they all started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And it, it's funny because like even when I see people put up like little stuff like that, I always vote and I just move on. Like yeah, it's a vote. Like yeah, I don't really be caring. But like, like your former life isn't your current life. Maybe it is, but it's a right. vote. Like who the fuck cares? Right. Like But I, I always I mean, vote on people's things like that that you I can feel see like who voted, but whatever. Pertains to me per se. Like it'd be sometimes I see something like you want to be a travel somebody or something. I'm like, nah, it's not my thing. I, you know what I mean? Like so I don't vote on shit like that. Or or maybe I do. It just depends on what it is. Or if it's not really like for me, I leave it alone. If it is like something that's like um, like catered to women, like really like specifically, I won't say I won't jump in on it at all. I just like I'll move past it. But if it is something that's like more open ended, that's not so um, woman like geared to women, then I will say like or or like if I'm coming across on my page, I will just do that though. And I don't know why people feel the need that they they don't, but you know, if you're on there, you might as well engage or, or participate. Because remember, I showed you one. I said I took this from somebody else's page. I didn't post it, but I thought it was interesting. I don't remember what it was, but I sent the you screenshot. You if, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If they was cool, with let me use. It. But I, I never got back to them. It was it's these two girls that got a podcast um, that I just started following. But it was interesting because I'm like, damn, that was a good one. I wish I would have thought of it. Um, but damn, I forgot what I was about to say. Um, but no, that, it, it was interesting though. What you about to say? So on the flip side of that, um, the least cheating occupation. I don't know. If we we. I don't think you, we did a poll on that. All right, so we did from Simon's Law Group again that did the that put out the survey. Teachers was number one. Scientists number two. Works with animals. Swear, but. Like That's number three. Well, I guess I know somebody that did. Four marketing. That's no, a real thing. Five accounts. I'm not gonna put her, you know, for so many reasons. But no, I know somebody that has. I know somebody that has sex with a dog. You know this person personally? Yes. Oh well. That's definitely not for this. 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 And if my cousins are listening, and anybody in my family. They know what we're talking about. So like, Where I'm not related to the person. So somebody, <laughs> no, we someone know. Close, close to your like a friend was of the close. <laughs> so after because they fucked the dog, you cut them off. <laughs> because of who they were to somebody oh. else. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, listen. <laughs> because of who they were. It's a bad job. To somebody else in my family, but I, if I say, if, so you know. Family, no, this happened. <laughs> I don't know when it happened. I would assume it, it, it happened before they got with the person. You find out you the dog? No, not him. It was a she. A, a woman fucker. I think we should move on. You know I how you can get, like, remember on, uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, what's the, I really what's think the, we should move on. What's the show with the fucking, uh, Yellowstone? When, when they got the horse up with the boot, uh, they moved uh, the inside of the boot up. I think it's time <laughs> to move on. That's, that's and just they had the mannequin horse sitting there, with a, you know, the staged up. Fake horse. Time to think, and and the the male horse that got excited. Yellowstone is also another great show. So they they was they took the, the rain boot and was stroking the shit out of the hook and the horse came because they wanted the horse's semen. Yeah yeah you I see you don't watch Yellowstone. As, yeah they got him excited. He came full staff. They lubed the inside of the boot up and they jerked him. They put his jaws to the side of the fisherman's boot with a cowboy boot in and they jerked, they jerked the horse off to get a semen out. I can't make it. For, y'all, for those of you that watch Yellowstone, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. This is a real thing. I'm not making this up. It was a long scene, which is crazy. Yo, 
<laughs> what in the fuck is wrong with this nigga, man? Like, I don't, I can't make, we can't make this shit up. Like, it's, right, just, it's just, just his fucking brain. I don't know what to say about it. Jesus, help me. Uh, so, what was number four? Uh, okay, number four, marketing. Number five, accounts. The least cheating occupation. What are your thoughts on that? Teachers, number one, sciences. Number two, three, works with animals. Four, marketing. Five, accounts. Uh, Fuck you. Cause, well, well, damn. Yeah. So, like, these are kind of weird. Like, oh, teacher science is my, Like, who spends their most, the least amount of time? I don't know how to even go about this. Like, like, to be honest, though, like, with teachers, especially, like, you like, work with, with any job, you work with a group of people, like, usually more than you might see, like, the people that you live with. And with teachers, like, they be on the edge sometimes. They, like, want to, like, let go of some stress. I would think they would be higher on this, honestly. Teachers, mm-hmm. they're number one. The least, no, the I least, the know. least cheating. Oh, oh higher on the oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I, don't, I don't see I, that. I don't see because I to 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 Cap's point, the reason why he's picking people like the pilots because they're away from home. So while you are married, you have more opportunity. You got right. You got more time and space to really just do whatever you want. Like if your wife is not traveling with you, teachers be having time and space. Not well, like not like a pilot they, though. Uh, I like what a the, pilot. What the fuck they call it, man? A zero period? What do they call it when teachers go on break? Like pilot, I think it's called teachers. They, I'm sure they got opportunities. Now, now how long is your How long is your lunch break? Like, Excuse me. Thirty minutes, forty minutes. Ah, oh, that's more than enough no, time. No, we don't really get a lunch break. So like, more than enough time for what? Like, he talking about to slide come. up in something and slide back out. Dude, 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 mother- I'm talking about you though. Like if you if you were working like. <laughs> No, I'm saying I'm, I'm thinking about the opportunity. What do they call it? They call it a zero period. So like, right. Sometimes yeah. I'm in middle school. We would go to lunch, and then we would have like another. Like, it wasn't a regular teacher. Like, it was like a free they, period. They call it a drop period, free period. Right. Yeah, some shit like that. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, you go out to the car if you got five percent tent and get your yeah get business done. Right, that's what I'm saying. He has. A, I yeah. agree with your point more because at first when I looked at it, I was thinking bartender too when I first saw it. But I would lean more towards what you're saying as far as like a pilot or a flight attendant because if I'm away from home for I don't know how long, like I don't know what their schedule really looks. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think they can fly them on like ten hours in a day. Or something yeah, yeah. Like so truck like drivers. Like think about it. If you got a you you get on a flight right now, you go to Jamaica or some shit like that, and then they get off the flight with you. I'm about to go have some motherfucking fun while I'm here. Why not? God damn right. Shit, I know what time I got to be back here to fly back out. Yep. I'm going to go fucking enjoy myself somewhere, and I'll see you motherfuckers when I get back. In the meantime, between time, somebody's getting their back blown out. <laughs> it's a main fa- It's a fact. <laughs> but right. You it might be a pilot. Listen, pilot and flight attendant getting right, in. Right. It could be, though. But listen, we saw a flight. Everybody seen flight? I, I, I was just saying, I feel like teachers would have been hiring more because I know teachers. They freaky, but I, that's what I'm saying. Like I can see that, but like it's because it's not saying that they don't cheat. It's just saying that they have the, they yeah, yeah. I mean, just, we, we know somebody personally that was. We ain't gonna I, I know names. I know, I know a lot of teachers that was personally. <laughs> I, know, I know a lot of teachers that you know they do yeah. their thing, but that it, it, I understand I, how. They wouldn't be higher on the list with military where you're it's just y'all in a bunk somewhere, you know what I mean? Firefighters, police officers, y'all spend way more time together when it's just y'all. I'm saying like if they're at the top of the other list, that means they're at the bottom of that, that first list. Yeah. I'm saying like they should be lower. They, I, I would assume they're lower than the other ones on the list they're on. Though. You like, but which ones though? Like, like the, what, what, what was on the list with the teachers? Accountants, Accountants veterinarians, mar- marketing. basically. Your veterinary is essentially yeah, and scientists like Sci- right. That's what? what I'm saying. Like I don't. Where the hell like, did that come from? These are brainiacs essentially. So they they Shit. probably have sex once a month. Accountants, marketing. Shit. So so working with animals. I'll say this: if you work around animals all day, like you're not really. I'm you're assuming having have too much human interaction. Right. No, they, they, so that they makes a difference. I know, but at the yeah, but the, the but more of their interaction is with like that animal. We though. was talking about earlier, like who wants her? Like you don't talk to the animal. You don't like, converse with the animal. You converse with. The animal. I would even I would even go as far to say that like a gynecologist probably doesn't want to see more pussy than he needs to. 
I'm serious. Think about it. You got somebody coming into your office daily, and if it's a man, I'm talking about a male figure, a male gynecologist. You going inside, just feeling for this, doing it, maybe some stinky shit, some sweaty shit. And by the time oh, you, you get know, home, it's definitely some stinky sweaties. Out that's there. what I'm saying. You by the time you get home. Who the fuck feels like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I'm cool off some cooch, some cooch right now. Like, back up. Did you wash today? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it, it might differ. So somebody like that may not want to have sex all the time because it's like, I see a lot of pussy all day. I don't need to see no more. I'm cool. Hmm. That's just a thought. I'm just not saying it's factual. I'm just saying like, in those instances, these are really like intelligent people who went to do a lot of school and make a shit ton of money, obviously. But- I mean, no, more so. Not like, college, don't do too bad either. Right. But even like, yeah, if you look at the science, they're highly intelligent people. And if you're a, a good scientist, you're probably trying to cure something or, or do something that's miraculous. I mean, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Accountants, you know, I, I, I don't, I mean, I probably know a few in my lifetime, but. No. Well, my, I mean, shit, I've been around all my life. Shout out. My Uncle Richard and I, Debbie, I've been around that all my life. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. So it's like, you know, it just, it, it depends. But the other ones that are higher up on that on the list, they make, they literally do make the perfect sense because it's like of what their occupation is. So putting teachers in there with that, I, I can't see it because. Cause you got to go home and do lesson plans and shit like that. I mean, you, you just might. You might you as a teacher you probably you make you get a chance to make happy hour. So that might be an opportunity for your spouse to like make a move. Like, I, I, but I feel like most teachers like, do go to happy hour. I'm not saying that they don't, but I feel like you do. Listen, nigga, <laughs> you're on the outside looking in. So you see teachers as a group of people who go to work, maybe go to happy hour, and that's it. I'm right. telling you for a fact, that's not the case with teachers. Oh no, 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 I'm not saying they, like they get into some like wow shit. I know. On a regular basis, like uh, them being a teacher doesn't slow them down or hinder them. Or like, well, all. no, but uh, but like in comparison to the others, though. Oh, no, no, no. But that's what and I'm saying. That's like, what it is. So if that list was at the top, you had the most likely, and at the bottom, you had the least likely. Right. For teachers to be at the very bottom, I feel that like that is wild. Like as far as scientists go, like they probably fuck around more than scientists. That's what I was saying. They, 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 but, they, but see, that's the thing, though. How many sciences do you know that you can compare that to? Because why are you saying that? You, the reason why you're saying this is because you're in that profession, and now you kind of got an understanding of it. But I don't know what science What if these niggas really are just like, they worried about their work so much that they consume themselves with it, and they don't really think about nothing else? That means teachers are probably like, like animal. I, I, I've never met a teacher like this, though. I always used to think like when I Wait, was so you've never met a teacher that's just strictly about their work and not like... I mean, this might be biased, but I mean, that's what I'm saying. It is because I, you're putting I, I, your I, I, <laughs> motherfucker. When I, younger, I was, when I was younger, I was looking at the teachers like they, they had like a wholesome image. Of, <laughs> like you don't drink, you don't sleep, really. You don't do ride right on him as a kid. Still, I, yeah, as a kid trying not to ride on him. Older, it's like you know, y'all really be out here. Like hmm, that's even interesting. Before I got this job, like it's like. <laughs> right. I mean, I, yeah, so I, to, to be bi like, I'm gonna be biased. Like, I mean, she's not teaching no more, but you know, I mean, I guess you know, I would say my stepmom, uh, shoot, my aunts. That that's that's like as the least. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, the teachers were in the least category as far as like. That does that does no shit. The least cheating occupations. The least it didn't say the not it said it didn't say the non cheating what? occupations. It said the least cheating Ooh. occupations. I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So they saying they don't do it. <laughs> yeah, good job. All right. Yeah. Next topic. Right. Um then what else we said we were gonna talk about today? I forgot, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we was talking about whether or not we think uh, um, James Harden, Tom in Philadelphia was up or not. Like, is it time to trade him or should we run it back again? Because um, this is what his third year. This would be his third year, essentially. My, so, go ahead. All right. So I'm gonna 
James Harden fan. Like when Steph and James Harden were like the top two guys when it came to like scoring for like a year or two, mm. I was always pulling for James Harden. Like when Steph won those MVPs, I felt like James Harden should have had one of them. Like I was like a James Harden fan. So him going to Brooklyn was like, man, that's a lot of scoring on that team. James Harden can facilitate, so I feel like he's going set. It didn't work out. He came here. He struggled his first year. Last year, in all honesty, he had a great season. That's, thank he you. He, he did. He did. He, he scored what he needed to score. It's just when you get to the playoffs sometimes, it's like you're not the same player. But then he gives a glimpse every time. and it, I, that, I think that's what bothers like Philadelphia fans. So for me, um, because of B, isn't like the healthiest motherfucker alive. You gotta go find somebody that can win with it. And I don't think Harden is that guy. Not right, right now. He not. He not right now. Yeah, I, I think both of them struggle in the playoffs. You need that like type A personality that can like go out and get a bucket and not care about like like we had one. Well, we can't say it. Like I understand a lot of people are upset with Embiid, so they're gonna say that. He ain't this, he ain't that, but the man is playing hurt as like he always does in the playoffs. So you know, for God knows only what reason. Man, he should, they should. Have been. But he did win MVP, so it ain't like he don't have the dog in him to 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 turn it up when he needs. So he just was he was hurt, and obviously that first game against Boston, he didn't even play. But James Harden stepped up and he showed what he could do without him. But at the same time, twice we need for the next person to be just as good, and that's the problem because the next. Person is Tobias Harris, and he's not that good. Tyrese Maxey is solid, but he's still not that good. So we need someone else to help alleviate that. So if one is struggling, and like like right now, a lot of teams have a, a a number, a solid and solidified number two, sometimes a three. We have a number one and then like a two B type of player because Harden is not the same. He's not Houston. That's not who we, they were not getting that. So we got to like. Yeah, you you said you don't need him. To, don't need him to I think you do, and it it showed. Because he's not that James Harden. But even but like even if still like he's averaging like so if he's averaging like a dub to like twenty five, that's that should be cool. But if you're hitting shots, a uh, twenty five could feel like a thirty five for for like especially if you're hitting shots down the stretch. You're not even doing that in a lot of cases. Like you're taking bad shots, you're missing bad shots. That you would usually hit, and this has been happening since he's. But what, what's the difference, though? Like, I think the biggest difference is he can't get to the cup. If he can get to the hole like he used to and get fouled and maybe goes along, he's not getting that same treatment. He don't, have, he he don't have that burst. Right, mm-hmm. he made his money at the line. He's not getting the same call like he did that, but at the same time, he's not making the same. But think about it though. How can you get? How can you get your motive? I mean, your game back up by going to the cup, seeing that John drop, get a foul here and there. You start to get your confidence back up. Stop. Going He's not close. doing that. And I get that, but at the same time, like, so. Yeah, he's not doing that. He's not even doing that. So they're taking, if they take this part of his game away, they're taking this part away too. That's the inconsistency for me. I think it's, I think it's a part of him being getting older, obviously. Oh, yeah. um, and then on the, on top of that, he's not in the best shape. And he hasn't been for the last however many years. He, he's not even hitting those floaters anymore. Like, yeah, it's just it's not the same guy. So like I said, when people went, when we we made the trade, it sound good in theory. Everybody hype, and I'm like, I'm tipping my expectations because at the end of the day, he's they do this. This is what the Sixers do. They give you somebody who's just off the cusp of their prime, get you excited because of the name, and then they don't work out. And then they look at it like, oh, I tried. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't put enough effort into making sure that this is a championship team because going into the season with Embiid. Harden and Tobias Harris as your top three guys, and maybe if you want to count Maxi as four, it's just not. I, I don't like I, I, go I, go all the way in and show that you really want to win, and that's what I'm I'm disappointed in. In most of the teams that I follow today, like I, that's how I feel. I don't feel like they're putting their best foot forward to win championships anymore. It's like oh, I'm a build. I'm gonna trust the process. That shit is dead, my nigga. You got one player from all of those drafts. It don't work. So I'm over that shit. Oh. I mean, like I, in my opinion, right now we're better with him, and let's stay. Let's for Dame than without him. 
Give me I, Zach like, Levine. I'll take him injured or whatever in a younger version than than I would him. I'm over it. I'm over it. Yeah, but give me Zach. I'm cool with that. Dame don't want to come here. I'm cool with Dame not want to come here. You older too. I'll take yeah, Zach right now. Right now. The, we at at this very moment we don't have a bench. <laughs> <laughs> Man. We the guy red motherfucking knee ain't gone. Bang bang. I mean, got shake gone. Don't yeah, mention I, that. Don't say we ain't making no moves, but we got Pat Bev. Don't Pat, say I that. like Pat as a backup point guard. I don't. I do. I'm over that too. I'm over this the scrappy. Give me the scrappy guy. Get in there, I, get I, your I nose like dirty. I'm over that. Hart is only cool if you like Iverson or something like that. Like, yeah. You give me 30 points a game and you get on the floor. Oh, I love you to have you on my team. See, we get somebody like Dame. I'm cool. It's gonna be my name is Joel and B. I'm pretty My name is Damian Lillard, and he's hey, all the seventy six. Like it is, we 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 gonna be like tremendously depleted. Like we see how what you, what you got over there, KD. You had Chris Paul and a uh, book. Like yeah. you know what I mean? The shit don't. But that's always, what people are doing. Like in in, yeah, in most instances, they just out. outscoring you. So, but I mean, I want Dame. I don't go hell or high water. Get get him however you can. Seriously, like show that. me that you want to like win a championship. Go all out. I'm I need to too. see text messages, some videos on TMZ, and all. I, I need to see. Did you do everything in your power to get this man? What I say, do trade hard for a bunch of draft picks, and in turn flip them for fucking uh for Dame Lillard. I'm over uh, it. I'm that's over. what I say. Dude. Dame don't want to be here. I don't want him here. I don't give a damn if he want to be or not. Come here. No. <laughs> And fuck Because that's what I'm saying Then all you're going to do Is up and leave So it's like why I'm cool off him I don't want nobody That don't want to be here I want somebody who He say that I want somebody who embodies what, the, what it means to play for A team in a city That, that holds he, that shit I think shit if he gets there. here He'll he see the, he feel the love And all that I think he'll He'll change his mind About wanting to be here Man he's been in the league How long I'm saying he ain't never Yeah he know what this city is like. It, that's one thing that people can't deny, whether you play for the team or not. You know certain cities that got that real passion for the sport and the ones who don't. Like, Utah, might, they might have good fans, but you know you don't have to. What is Utah going to do? Like, yeah, they, come on. It's certain teams you know, like, they don't they care, but they don't care as much as others. You know what I'm saying? But go to Philadelphia, you know if you win them a championship, what that would mean for that city and how they would embody, like embrace you. Like, it's a difference. So if you're saying, I don't want to go nowhere, or if you're Asian, whoever the fuck is saying it, but it's coming from your camp, I don't want to go nowhere but Miami. Y'all want that to get out. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool off of you, bro. You only want to go to the team that was just in the finals. Go. Because before, it was the whole loyalty thing. You, you want to stay where you at? Fine. But now, the only team I can be traded to is Miami. I don't want you here because your, your see, mindset is not grind. Out his mouth. They not gonna stay out of his of course they not because they don't want to. They don't. They don't want to paint the image of him he's being that type gonna, of guy. He's not going to say it, but he's going to allow that to get out. Right. He's yeah. Not, well, he better get on. Unless you get on Twitter or something, and say no, I ain't like that. No, <laughs> I'm cool. Because <laughs> he is one of them outspoken dudes. You got people who handle their accounts, so it's like right. They not. They not really gonna come out and say that shit. Like even if they tweet that out or. Well, I mean, Levine would be the next best option, but if we don't get him and, and Harden's going, listen, we'll be a fifth seed. Listen, because like I said, for me, I wanted Bradley Bill. I was saying Bradley Bill for the last two years. Obviously, he went to the Suns, but I'm like, that would have been a perfect They, they look great, but they, they, they real small now. They are, but who going to stop them from scoring? It's nobody going to be able to stop them from scoring. If they can all stay healthy, I'm serious. I don't know how you're going to beat that team. And I see, like, the Mavericks tried to counteract. They want to sign Thibault, but Portland matched that. Um, what else? Uh, they, Grant Williams. They're trying to counteract that, but you're, what are you going to do with those three? Literally. Across the court, you, there's nothing you can do with them. It's literally, I don't see nobody beating them in a seven-game series if they're all 100% healthy. Cooking. Yeah, well, you know a lot of well, you know, you know, Durant could take half the year off probably. They could do whatever they want. Will. They could do whatever they want, but when it comes time to play in a seven game series, if they're coached the right way, they're not losing. There's, there's no way you're losing. Oh, to that's them. my West Coast. That's my West Coast team. So, huh? Did they 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 hired a new coach? They have um, the Lakers. 
Vogel? Yes. Frank. Oh, shit. I don't think I even knew they signed Vogel. Yes, they got Vogel. It could work. It could work. It can definitely work. But that was... Excited for the trade. Thought it was going to be different. I thought we was going to see a different Harden. And and I look at it as you know he's older and he doesn't have that same that first step to get past people anymore. And me honestly, I, I I'm at the point where I just don't. I'm I'm starting to lose my interest when it comes to the Sixers now. So this shit is like. I think the shit is over. We didn't have too many opportunities to win a championship. You know, going back to when we lost to Toronto. Toronto. That's the best starting five we the had. Hawks, right? And then when we lost to Fancy. At this point, and then they and then they know what the problem is. We lack scoring. We lack a, a second unit to carry us when the first unit is out. They're choosing not to build on that shit, and it's just like, like you said, they're bringing in names to just put, put asses, asses in the yep. seats. I've said it a while ago. I'm saying to y'all, I can only have one team break my heart, and that'll be my Raiders. So I'm cool with the Sixers, so. Yeah, I'm rooting for uh, some this year. That's my West Coast team. I'm Yay! still rooting for my Mavs. I'm still rooting for my Mavs. Yay! Yeah, I'm still rooting for my man. Depending on, depending on how they do and how it looks, because I did, I was one of the people who did say they wanted Nick Nurse. I did like the Nick Nurse hire. I do like the Nick Nurse hire. That, that's actually, yeah, I agree. I just don't like all the other like personal personnel moves and things like that. Like, that path, Have that path, the lack of moves. The, okay, well, yeah, the lack of moves. Like that Pat bad move was so horrendous to me. Like. All of them though, the Mo Bamba shit, yeah, the like fucking like, I'm, like it makes, this is like what? What are, what are we players, doing? What are those players bringing to that team? Right, it's like what are we doing here? I don't make sense. But no one fears Pat Beverly. If we're gonna be honest, no one fears Pat Beverly. People laugh at Pat. Beverly. I think a couple of years ago, I seen I seen some good qualities and traits from him. But today, I'm like I I don't see how that helps us right now, especially when you're trying to if 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 management is saying. We have a, a, a championship caliber player. Because my thing is, you don't have to win a championship. Just get there. Get to the, the, the conference championship. Get to the get there. Show me that you can build on it. But it's like, y'all not even getting there. Right. So it's like, it's the right. same thing with my Cowboys, bro. I feel the same way. It's like, y'all are wasting opportunities with great players for no fucking reason at all. If there's a Dalvin Cook out there, I'm picking up the phone. There's a DeAndre Hopkins out there, I'm picking up the phone. Why? Because anybody can get hurt. So why not have a security blanket? That's like hard. right now, if our receiving core, let's just say CeeDee Lamb goes down, now you're going out there with Brandon Cooks and Michael Gallup. I'm not scared of that shit. I'm not scared of that. Mm -mm. You see what I'm saying? So why not have a security blanket to say, you know what? He out there, he says he wants to play here. Go get him. It's a free agent. It's not even like you got to give up anything at this point. Go get him. It's not, it's not like if you brought up Dalvin Cook. It's not like Dalvin Cook's a bad this nigga still got the burst. He's still going to draw the attention. I'll tell you one thing. You have to put eight in the box if you're going – if he's in your backfield. You it's crazy, yo. But that's what I'm saying. The Sixers are the same thing. Like, like Drees finally was like, I finally understand what you feel like when it – like, being a Cowboys fan. I'm like, bro, it's, it's frustrating, but what do you do? Because at the same time, they're, it's like they're the same organization. As long as they're getting people to sell out the arenas and they buying the jerseys and you, yep. now you got an MVP player that you can say – Hey, he, we drafted him. We built him up to what he is. You just hanging your head on that. It's like you're comfortable in that middle of the pack shit instead of like, fuck that. What do we got to do to get this motherfucker over here and, and be competitive literally for the next three, four years, whatever it's going to be, and then we'll worry about that when we get there. No, like they want to build in-house. Like That shit is not working anymore. Not in the NBA for sure. I appreciate the Brandon Cooks on I absolutely do. I appreciate I abso that. Absolutely. They, they showing like that. Now, my but biggest not concern enough, now though. is not enough. Tony Pollard can't be out there by his goddamn self. And can't rely on Ronald Jones. That's, but that's my <laughs> point. We better do but something. But that's the, literally what the Sixers are doing. You going year after year saying Tobias Harris, Tobias Harris. Like, nigga, that doesn't work. You know that. But you know what, though? Maybe 
Tobias Harris, if he, you know, gets more opportunity with another coach and, you know, be that, that second scorer, you know, he'll he'll elevate his game back to yeah. him. Maybe he'll elevate his game, run more plays for him. Over him too. I'm sorry. I'm over him. All right, I'm, I'm cool. Like again, they wanted to make you know Ben the second option when he was here, and then he was the third option, and you can flip flop him in between here, however you want to do it. He still didn't show me nothing that he needed to continually be here. Nah, nah, year not after for that year. fucking money. Yeah, I'm I'm cool, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's out of pocket. Wow. That's out of pocket. All right, next topic, because he just he killed that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you you just killed that one. But um, what was what else did we say we was going to talk about? Um, right, because we can wrap this shit up after this. Oh, uh, pump your gas. Yeah, shut the fuck up, because I remember. Is pump your gas overrated? Right. I thought it was something else after that, though. I know we said we was going to talk about the polls, but I thought we said something else. But all right, that was. No, well, I mean, females I it was, do. But no, I thought it was interesting, and the only reason why I, th- I thought it was interesting because I'm a person who I'm always the one that pumps the gas, um, but I also never turn my car off either. And, and I've heard things where it's supposed to be bad, it's supposed to be, it doesn't matter. But, but yeah, but me, I've always done. I've never turned my car off when I pump my gas. So you know, I, I, to me, is it overrated? No, because I don't mind doing it. It's like it's almost like. Is taking out the trash over it. Like I, this is shit that I do. It's my role. So think I'm about think about like the people that live in Jersey who are unaccustomed to pumping their own gas. Well, for them, they're spoiled. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you, you gain anything with pumping your gas. It doesn't make you like a better person. Or anything. It's like, oh, it is what it is. Like part of my everyday life. I know. I know some women who do not like pumping their gas. They prefer like I don't even know if they got any a, woman that likes pumping the gas. I mean, none. Well, I know, some women like the smell of gasoline. Well, some people in general like the smell of gasoline. I ain't gonna say I like it a di- I I don't have a feeling about it. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, I don't have Well 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 it was your question to ask, so where did it generate from? Um I heard it. I, I heard I heard I heard it. Um was like pump your gas or red. It might have been like on Power Night Now, some shit like that. Oh you like heard it on the radio. Oh, okay. I thought funny, she was having like a personal conversation. Well funny it. Jones, no. I was like, hmm, this would be interesting. Like is it overrated? I mean, I don't have, I don't feel no one way or the other about it. I just know females don't like pumping their gas um, at all. Do you think they look at it like a, a man's job? Yes. I do. I, yes. I do Honey, like, take I my do. car, go fill it up for the week. A- right. Absolutely. I, I feel that. So Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Tuh, don't we know it? Yeah. But yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, for me, it just, it's one of those things. I, I mean, I can care less either way because. I'm the one who always does it, so it's like it's second nature to me. It's like I said, like she, ever since we've even been here, she's never taken out the trash, so it's like it, it just second nature. I just do it because I assume that role. So, so take <laughs> so take taking out the trash is 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 a is a gender role for a male. I think so. And I'm pump, not gonna lie, that's one thing. Like pumping the gas pump, is different, but taking out the trash, pump, I do feel like it's a man's role. I, I say like I say she'll, Don't come she'll, she'll do it If I like forget it And I'm running out to work mm. But most of the time If I If I don't If I take it out At night Most of the time It's, it's needed on me mm. And If like If he ain't in the house they'll, they'll, they'll tell him To help me or whatever But I I, I Do my best Not to have them Take that shit Yeah yeah, because to me it is. It's, it's some dirty shit. Sometimes, it, it, especially if you got honest. trash that's been sitting, maggots and shit. You know what like, I mean? It's nasty. Like you be chilling home all the time and watching movies, whatever the hell you do. Your lady coming in, yeah. Can you take my car to the gas station? It's just like, just don't even say nothing. Shut the fuck up. It don't happen like that. There'll be some shit like she comes in, like, oh, can you go to Wawa for me real quick, or can you go here for me real quick? Sure. After she was outside, I get in the car. Like this. I have no choice but because I feel like I, I'm yeah. not gonna make it there. Yeah. So I have no choice but to put gas into the Oh, car. so you get set up. Oh, that's so, so you get set up. Damn. Oh, you want See, to- you get back door. Oh. Alright. Um Yeah. 
Yeah, we tried to set you up for that. We uh, like I said, we're on Threads now. You should come follow us on Threads. It's a fun place. It's, it's fun. Porn-free so far. So well, I mean, Just what do you mean by porn? Like no graphic, like overly graphic? Because I've seen some booty clap on there. Like, all right, that's cool. Oh yeah. I, I open Twitter and just see like somebody getting fucked. <laughs> and it's just like that's the first thing I see on Twitter. It makes and you it's uncomfortable. Just, it's not even uncomfortable, just like oh, all right. Well, what, what is the feeling though? It's an annoyance. Okay. Sometimes I'm looking for like wholesome content. Like show me a, a baby doing some fun shit. Like, oh okay. Really? Ah, well, you're mentioning say for, babies. I about to say for that you might as well go like uh, Facebook. Uh, I feel like Facebook is a safe place for that kind of stuff. Yeah, motherfucker. If you yes. want to see wholesome content, <laughs> like, like, shit like, like think about what you just said. You said I want to go in and see wholesome content. I, I fuck with the, like the like when the troops return home. Right. They surprise like their parents or their. Children. Well, you do know that it's what you're following. Your feed is giving you the algorithm is pointing. I, I, I do know that. I didn't unfollow a lot of shit. Yeah, but how much? What, what do you like though? You like to see ass clap? Yes, he does. I like to see soldiers returning home from. Nah, more than ass, ass clap. More than ass clapping But that's what it be though That's the reason why I'm saying it Because the algorithm is going to cater to what it is you like So when I go in there I do see that sometimes But what I see more of like For me the biggest thing that Even like when you scroll my For You page on Twitter The first thing that comes up is the Cowboys Because they know that's, that's what I like and engage with way more See, I, so on Twitter I see a lot Him of is just porn I see a lot of sports Yeah And movie shit mm-hmm. Right But porn is like in the mix Cause you, you you did a lot of liking of some butt. Did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Open Twitter. Like, I, I stopped using it. No, Twitter is still my favorite app. Shit is hilarious, but it's like dick and pussy. Then <laughs> dick and I'm telling you, if, I'm gonna show you when, when we done. I'm gonna show you mine. It's like it's literally like it's Cowboys, it's Mavericks, Luca. Then it's like uh, it might be uh, like rap shit, Marvel shit. And then it might have like Dak Prescott at the bottom or something like that. But and I'll show you mine. Yeah. Watch how shit There's got to be some porn in there. Jesus, God. Yeah, there's got to be some 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 freaky, like one of them porn I, like, star OnlyFans bitches that pop up. Like, <laughs> but I don't know. What's your Explorer page like? Mine's, mine's a lot of Court Raider shit. Some Sixer shit. Um, you talking about Instagram? Well, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's Instagram, have, right, right. I don't have Twitter. Uh, Cause it's yeah, kind of same. Yeah, Instagram is crazy for us though. Mm-hmm. It's like a lot. It's food, drinking, booty. Yeah, yeah. Mine's <laughs> a mix of food, workout, sports, yeah. booty. <laughs> yeah. Sneakers. Right. Eagles, Sixers, Duke, ass. <laughs> right. It'd be funny though, cause they be they listen. They be on point. They know what you like. Yeah. Like, be, it's it's true to what it is. You know what's funny? Like movies, TV shows. Mm-hmm. Food. Let me see now. Let me. So like, hold on. Know, we, we go. I'm like gonna try. So hold on. Like, I remember my one time my cousin. He bought his Bentley when mm. he came to see me. So I sat in the Bentley, took a picture, mm-hmm. and I put it on the gram. The next day, I saw a fucking uh, ad for like a Ferrari. I'm mm. like, I didn't even know they had ads for Ferraris. But you see a picture of a Bentley one time. It's like, right. Oh, this is what he like. He, he just hit the lottery. He <laughs> got lucky today. Right. Yeah. Listen, that's the way it Bentley. works. So, how you how you want to do this? Like, for what? shits and giggles, like, first thing I see is Kobe, and then, like, I think that's Tim Duncan. Then next to him is, fuck, that might be OBJ doing some workout shit. Then you got a picture, like, what the fuck is that stuff? No, oh, wow. John Starks, Pat Ewing, and Charles Oakland, NBA All Star game. <clears throat> then after that, then after that. So you got, like, old school shit on there, too. Then it's, it's Rick Ross, and, know, Rick Ross and his lady. Awesome. Then you got food. He got some more Kobe. I just like a lot of Kobe. You know, drinking reviews and all that. Like, right. I mean, can I, I want to show them the drink. Can you? The camera, like you, the camera's over there by you. Oh. It's right there. You're fucking weird, though, yo. Jackass. Something wrong with you. Well, this is called the bikini drop, or whatever the heck that is. Right. Uh. But that's generally generally what shows up on your uh yeah, food, 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 food. Yep. Uh sneakers, more drinks. Yeah. 
Big ass burrito, Las, Las Vegas. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, sports. Some crazy roller coaster shit right there, whatever the hell this is. I don't know what the hell that is, but yeah. I'm meant to go on the music parks and not really getting on rides like this, because that shit looks crazy. But it's fun to see other people do it. <laughs> So yeah, that, that's my explorer page. Right. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it all depends. Mm-hmm. Pixar theme mini golf, Philadelphia. All right. So I just found out about that. He's been talking about that uh, since yesterday. Going next week. I mean, we can go. I mean, y'all, we. You know, I'm, you know, I know y'all have a little thing going on with the golf. So I mean, we can bet whatever. Oh. <laughs> I'm priv- Listen, I'm privileged drinkers mini golf. Did you win? Whenever y'all ready. Did you win against L- me? Loser. No, you didn't. You didn't win. Lo- that time I won. No, you didn't. With me, you. You won. No, he didn't. I won. No, you didn't. Trying to take this win from me. No, I do. I remember dude saying he won. I remember dude winning. The fuck? No, you admitted though. Prove it. Because you said, well, I came in second. You came right. last. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay. Your memory yeah, is right. fucked up, yo. Yeah, and he's so confident too, though. No, I didn't. He lied. Look, what, nigga? I mean, we could always go to Top Golf and settle scores, mini golf. We can always do. We could do unprivileged drinkers really golf. golfing. It's really mini golf. Let's, let's try to uh, fix our putt next week. It's really mini golf for real. Okay. Next Saturday. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get that trick now. We'll get it together. All right. So, uh, I think we're done, right? We ain't got nothing else to talk about. Yeah, no. Um, no, we ain't nothing to talk about. If we ain't got nothing else to talk about, I have one thing. God damn it, I don't have my phone. Oh, got- man. Pause this shit. Ran nephews on the clock. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, I yes. I don't got the phone yes. to do the... Uh, yes, pause it, phone. pause it. We have to just stop it. The shit ain't charged somewhere. The phone is like somewhere dead. Hey, man, I'll put it on somebody else's phone. Hey, he's mad. Even if it lands on me, I'm going to be upset. But it's up weekend, right? You know, I might have a spin wheel on my joint. All right, so if you do it, then you can put it on yours. Shout out Kevin Hart. You watched a special today. Oh, yeah, that was funny as shit. So, yeah, so. Hilarious. Hilarious. No. Nah, shout out. Yeah, keep the conversation going. Yeah, yeah, shout out to all of us, though, man. We had fun um, with the with the karaoke shit, man. Like, y'all pulled out some good ass songs that I haven't heard in a while. It was, it was fun. Yeah, we, we had a good ass time, man. Got people out their shell. All right. Yeah, yeah, because Dirk was trying to do. Uh, I mean, whatever you got over there. I don't know what's over there, nigga. Damn, I'm out. All right. Rand nephew. Anybody say something else? Say something else. Jaeger? Um, Jaeger. Jaeger. Uh, Wait, what do you call it? Dare blood? <laughs> uh, shit. What else? White lightning? Jaeger. Probably spell that shit. Wrong. White lightning. Stop, stop itching. Um, so he's putting that in. He wants to do uh, a shot. Well, um... I'm not for it, but I mean, like, what can I do? Captain Morgan. But, uh, you know, we about to have this, this moment, and we're going to see what happens. Listen, man, it's a lot of bullshit that I got to do tonight, so. We watching movies all all week. I mean, he got some more corn over here, like flavored corn, like raspberry. Raspberry, raspberry corn. Raspberry corn. Yeah, you got to put that much on there. I mean, you get things you got on, like, four or five? Right. No, we do it twice. No, we, do it twice. we always do it twice. All right. Mm-hmm. So, I, so I have the the names on the actual wheel, it's pizza slices, or whatever. Um, All right. So, how are we gonna figure out who gets? Ah, uh, so we gotta do the shot wheel with the liquor. Now we have to do another shot wheel. I mean, I usually put them all on the same one, but you could do it that way if you want to just separate it to have. Oh, it so with. I can put the names on. I put the names on. Right. That's what I. That's how I've done it. Whereas just typically. Oh, is that when it was taking so long? Yeah, because it was landing on like the same person and shit like yeah, that. So that's yeah. right. So that's why I was like, you can do it separately if you want. Then that way you don't have to worry about it doing that. So we're gonna do it once, right? Twice. Stop! Stop that. Twice, right, cat? Right. All right. Kind of, we haven't done it in a while. It's up weekend. Fuck that shit. I know, but still. It this weekend. It, it's fine. It's not. It is. It's up weekend. Man. Yeah, buddy. Huh? Okay. Fuck you, mean okay? I played the big part of it. I might take some rain left to be tough. 
Oh, oh shit, Ma, just, just a little I test, said, He ain't mine when he was so high as shit, did he? Who was high? Oh, um. Where you at? This dude I know. All right, so. Um, Epps. So, you know. Shot Will. I could do the minimum talking. Uh, Mike Epps. He's <laughs> doing the shot, Will. Light, whatever light is. What the fuck is light? It's not like it's spinning around. It is, but he is landed on light. Dirt. Are you yeah, it hey. said dirt. Dirt. What shit are we talking about? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, go up a little bit. Put it up a little bit. No, that don't make no fucking sense. Oh, White what? lightning. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? If what? you want to look at the wheel and see what how it is. <laughs> yeah, you go. I get it. Don't get mad. At, don't get mad at nobody, but the motherfucker sitting to your left. <laughs> right. Look, look, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> I will be. <laughs> he he really gets a kick out of someone else's agony. <laughs> he wants somebody else to be down bad with him. Right. Just put it up to that camera right there. First spin. Done spinning? Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, what you taking a shot of? Or are you Captain Morgan? <laughs> no, no, no. You don't like Morgan. Crazy, man. Captain Morgan is the drink. And Cat is the drinker. Poot, Cat. Yep. Mm. Drink up, bitch. <laughs> Drink up, bitch. <laughs> Drink up, bitch. <laughs> yeah. You got some more beer in there, motherfucker? Because you're going to need it. Man, all you drinking needs, just look up. Damn. Damn, Gina. Mm, you going to really oh, drink. No, y'all ain't say which one. No, you can have that one. Let me see. Let me see. That 151? No. Oh, what is it? It's on the Captain Morgan. I ain't no punk bitch. That's right. There you go. Ooh, shit. That's what the cat shot will chose me to do. I'm being manly. Yeah, that's what the cat shot will chose me to do. I'm being man about it. That's that. Oh, my God. Cowboys for life shot glass. Captain Morgan 100 proof. It's Captain Morgan 100. You might be driving home. Drink up, my friends. Stay thirsty. Bad motherfucker. Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Yo. Uh, it's been wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to get the fuck out of here. We, we appreciate Got some good fixings being in, made. Man. Shout out to all the ladies cooking us dinner this evening. Oh, right, right, right. We can't forget about that, right? Shout out to Stuff Bellies LLC. Shout out to Stuff Bellies LLC. You know, came through with the fixings. Uh, what was it? Um, it was honey, honey hot wings. It was uh, lemon pepper wings. The first night we had a uh, taco dip, pulled pork, and that jerk chicken cheese steak. Balls on the pork for the for the for the regular folk here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was amazing. Shout out to her. You can look to her for all your catering needs. Right, she on Instagram. It's stuffed stuffed underscore bellies. bellies, I believe. Right, so you can go look that up. Look that up, and uh, shout out for all the women. Yeah, shout out to the wives uh, and and um and yeah and then the friends and the ladies that's yeah, doing their job yep. in the kitchen right now. All of y'all, I think I seen some stuffed salmon. I think it's uh, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. cornbread yeah. being made, macaroni and cheese. Oh, good eats. Yeah, a bunch of good shit. A uh, bunch of good shit. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Afterwards, you sure? Afterwards, ain't nobody gonna fly driving home. <laughs> was it good to you? Was it good to you? <laughs> Well, we'll be taking more shots. We're about to get the fuck out of here. Think we, we listen. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like I said, anything you want, anywhere you want to follow us, you can Google us. If you follow us on anything, and you want to follow us on something else, TikTok, whatever. It's all in our link tree on our bios. We're on YouTube, heavy, um, every platform. Anything you can think of, we're there. If we're not there, and you want to see us there, let us know. We're still DM working us. on our escort service. We're not. We're absolutely not. Um, <laughs> but yo, just. No, Just be on the lookout for future collabs with different people. Epcot, uh, Disney. We're not. Um, <laughs> he got the Disney of porn for some reason. I don't know why. No, but. that sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we like I said, we really are working, man. We got a lot of shit going. 
I love The Incredibles. That's one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. Right. We uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna keep doing shit. We're gonna you're gonna see us collabing a lot more with, with different people because we trying to get the brand out there. You know, I think we do a pretty good job of doing that, but we want to get our reach just a little bit more um, expanded upon. Because we, we like I said, we do a lot of shit, man. We really do. We have fun. The difference. If you between, like us, send us some liquor. Send us some beer. Yeah. We'll the difference it. between us and other people, I think that we have way more fun doing what it is we do. We don't take ourselves serious enough. You know what I mean? We have fun. So look at him. Would you take him serious? Damn. <laughs> You're Damn. short. Damn. Damn. <laughs> 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 Up in smoke, cigars, cigars, and we love cigars. Yeah, we love them. Love them. Y'all out of pocket. And we travel. Yeah. The pod, the pod travels. Yeah, we ain't yeah. always stationary. We'll be Listen, I. October. That should be fun. I don't know. I mean, we bringing all this shit though. It. It's a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, we, we might. I did. I, but actually, I could, we could do it because we don't have it. As long as I don't got these kids with me. It'll be a lot easier because I just I did just take and, the shit and to Jamaica. We, and, and you know we had, had a lot of fun in Jamaica, so I forgot a mic. But these two guys are used to sharing, just sharing a mic, so I mean it works out well for them. Thank you for coming out. God bless and good night. We appreciate y'all. Unprivileged drinkers, taste testers for the hood. We out of here. We out. Friday night, everybody come to get lit. Red cups, what you sit? My man roller, he bring a zip. Right. Any Moscato and Duce with him. Whatever you wanna get Nothing but them good vibes When we come through It's a fun event All the ladies call your girls All my niggas call your guys Fall in line They ain't got no plans You can tell them to slide I'm feast the beast They told you otherwise Them suckers lie Can't nobody do it like me I'm seasoned like checker fries What's the vibe? You know what it is When we come inside This weather feeling good Looking nice like the summertime This get together We call it the party of the year You end up missing this You gon' be sorry you ain't here Light skin, long hair Better than Cardi from the red Got me some good game Yeah, I talk it up in here, this the one they say they like it. Play it back, it got them hyper. I'm excited, never tired. Just keep it going with fire. Keep it going. I just Friday night, everybody.